What's going on, hobby family? My name is Vito, and you're watching Trident and True Hobbies. Today, we're going to continue taking a look at painting the Age of Sigmar Dominion box, but by tackling a highly requested painting technique, how to paint marble. However, we're going to be trying something new. A lot of us have been exposed to the traditional way of painting marble, and that's by using baby wipes. The baby wipe method is pretty good, however, it takes way too much time. First, you got to get the baby wipes, then you got to let them dry, and who knows how long that's going to take. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I found a product that's super cheap and all it requires you to do is pull it right out of the box. We're going to be using Swiffer Sweepers. It's essentially a micro cloth to capture lint, dust, and dirt. And the minis that we're going to be using this effect on are the Stormcast Eternal Annihilators. So with our minis primed in black, we are ready to start painting. We're going to begin by stretching the micro cloth so that some of the dense fibers become loosened. This is going to allow paint to spray through the micro cloth, but leave the veining effect that marble generally has. Now the areas that we're going to be targeting are the shields, chest, and shoulder areas. For the shoulder pads, the design is made so that the front of the mini can be painted differently. However, we're going to be painting the entire pauldron. Next, we're going to apply our stretched micro cloth onto the exposed black areas and spray Vallejo's off-white through the cloth. We're going to apply a very small amount of paint and air through our airbrush, as this will create our black, gray, and white gradients. Once complete, we can remove the micro cloth and spray more white onto some of the areas that were not covered by our airbrush filter method. This helps us create more natural look, as there are many imperfections and natural occurrences in marble. Once this step is complete, we can now go on to paint the entire mini. If you're looking for a more detailed way of how I paint gold, metallic blue, or the base, please be sure to check out the link in the upper right hand corner. So with our mini fully painted, we can add just one more step to really make this miniature pop. We're going to apply a gloss medium to all of our marbled areas. This will simulate polished marble. If you don't want to have a polished marble effect, you can completely skip this effect. And that's it, a super simple marble effect that is fast to achieve with products you can find around the house. And all that's left to do is create some sweet B-roll. Thanks for watching everyone, and I really do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, if you like the show, help the channel grow. You can support Trinity and True Hobbies by joining my Patreon campaign, which gives you awesome rewards, such as behind the scene posts and additional content not seen here on YouTube. You can also pick up my favorite brand of paints with 5% off your next order. All the links will be down in the description below. So peace on the streets, everyone, and I'll make sure to catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching that tutorial, everyone. So if you want to see more tutorials, go ahead and click these links over here. I've provided them for you. Just go ahead, do like a big deep dive and get lost in all the B-rolls. Oh, and make sure to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button so that more content can be provided to you. Because you know what? Subscribing is tight and I like tight.